Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this March 28th. It is 4.54 a.m. Central Time. And um, appreciate all the feedback from yesterday's podcast. Uh, had several of you say that, you know, you listen to it every day, but sometimes you'll listen to it at uh, odd times of the morning, some later in the morning, some early. A few of you actually listen to it live. So that was my big concern is if we move the podcast to a later time, would it affect when you listen? Uh, if you have not had a chance to feedback or give me some comments on that, then do so today. You can do it uh, either at Spreaker.com. Just go to uh, Spreaker.com, look for my podcast, and you can comment there. Or after this podcast is over, I'll always post it to my Facebook page and to my Twitter feed, and you can you can comment there if you want to. But basically, looking at uh, retooling of some of the workflow here as we get ready to add a new half hour to AM Kentucky starting April 30th, we're going to extend AM Kentucky to two hours starting on April 30th. Uh, and we'll start at 5 a.m. And because of that, then we have to, you know, shift our workflow here a little bit earlier than usual. But it's okay. We're talking about just basically doing what we do every morning. Uh, I basically spend about two hours before the show just going through uh, forecasting and building graphics and doing the podcast and Facebook Live and uh, Alexa updates and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a matter of shifting that stuff around. Not a big deal. Many of you have told us you get up early enough, 5 a.m. to want to know the weather and and uh, get some news headlines. So we're going to accommodate starting April 30th. Those of you that are podcast listeners know before anybody else does. Because I made that promise to you guys a long time ago. Here's something else. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or not, but we have a brand new weather app. That's all it is is a weather app. It's no no news, no sports, no anything else. And uh, we're giving it a test run right now. And if you'd like to download it, just go to the App Store. Uh, if you're an Apple user, and search for WBKO Weather. If you search just WBKO, our regular app will come up. But this is a new weather app with a totally different look and is going to be able to do so many uh, more things than the app does now. This is just a weather app. And if you're a an Android user, of course, go to Google Play and again search WBKO weather and you'll see it. Now, we're going to be capable of doing some, right now, it's in trial mode, but, I mean, all the information there is accurate, okay? Uh, but give it a trial run. Give us some feedback. Tell us what you think. We always want to hear your feedback. You know, a lot of a lot of TV stations assume that they already know what what they're going to do because they already know it, you know. Or they'll copy us. They say, well, let's just do what BKO does. <laughs> That's what we've run into in the past. And I'm like, no. Something about carving your own path and, you know, that sort of thing. Building your own road and, you know, following it. That's that's usually good advice. But uh, we are listening to you and making those changes and doing those things. We never stop innovating. You know, that's what we're here for. I mean, we don't want to become stale. We don't want to become just, uh, okay, rest on your laurels. You've been here 55 years. Legacy TV station, got nothing else to accomplish. Bull is what I say. We got a lot more going on. And this is going to become so interactive. This new app uh, is going to be so interactive with you on the user end and us on the aggregator end as we're getting all the data and sending it to you it's going to be cool especially during severe weather so that's coming up and speaking of bad weather we have a flood watch in effect uh, for the area starting this evening running all the way through tonight all day tomorrow 
as we get ready for lots of rain, lots of rain moving in, okay? So prepare for that, especially if you live near a flood-prone area like a uh, back road that has a low-water ford or, you know, around your house at a flood if it comes a couple of inches of rain. Yep, that's what we got coming. Maybe three to four inches of rain in some cases over the next couple of uh, days through, say, early Friday. 71 was our high temperature yesterday at the airport. That happened around 3 p.m. That's 7 degrees warmer than the average of 64. 53 was our low. That's 13 degrees warmer than the average of 40. One year ago, we had a high of 77 and a low of 49 back in 2017. No rainfall before midnight, but of course that's changing as we speak. As the rain is now moving into the Bowling Green area here at 5 a.m., I can hear it hitting the rooftop, and some of it is fairly steady to moderate. We're not uh, seeing any thunderstorm activity, but it's just the rainfall is uh, going to be the kind that you may occasionally hear on your rooftop being loud, that roaring rain. Mm -hmm. Today, 90% chance of rain likely, some of it heavy at times. We'll be in the 60s, mostly upper 60s, and again near 70 for a high temperature for some. Southwest wind at 9 tonight, a 100% chance of rain. And even some dense fog in a few places with a low of 58. For Thursday, a continued 90% chance of rain. And maybe tomorrow is when we get a few thunderstorms, although we're not expecting severe weather. Just uh, rain and thunderstorms, 67. Then as we get into Friday morning, the rain will finally come to an end for this go-round. As we're in between systems, then we'll see a partly sunny Friday, good Friday, by the way, and a little bit cooler with a high around 60. Then the next wave comes in for Saturday, last day of March. 70% chance of showers, mainly afternoon and evening, 67 and some of that rain could carry over into early Sunday morning. Now, if you're going to uh, celebrate Easter sunrise, an outdoor service, there could be some showers in the area. Not a guarantee. It probably won't be a lot, but it's a possibility that you could have a shower uh, very early on Easter Sunday morning. With a high of 58, it will be cooler. Monday and Tuesday of next week, another system with more rain. So the flood watch that is now through, say, Thursday evening could be extended further into next week with these rounds and rounds and rounds of rain. We're going to pick up a lot of rain over the coming days. 59 on Monday, 65 on Tuesday with another cold front coming through late Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. So it's going to be all about the rain. There's no snow in this forecast. Uh, We're going to keep it warm enough to keep it all rain. That will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And as I mentioned, those of you that have an Echo, Echo Dot, or Amazon Fire TV, you can get Alexa. You just say, Alexa, news and weather briefing. And she'll go, okay, here's your news and weather briefing from WBKO. And it's updated. uh, We'll update it here in about 15 minutes or so, and it'll be up and running. How about that? Every morning on Alexa. It's pretty cool that you can do that. Anyway, later today, my radio show, Classic Hits, Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 p.m. and around the world anytime online at BowlingGreenSam.com.